I seriously do not recommend majoring in music performance, and it's probably not for the reasons that you're thinking. When I was auditioning for college for undergrad, um, I was uh, taking my clarinet to my repairman to get uh, fixed up and make sure that like everything was good to go for my auditions. Uh, and I told him that I was going to be um, auditioning for music school and I was going to major in music performance. And I was expecting the like sort of normal response like, oh, that's so exciting, like college is going to be so great, blah, blah, blah. Um, but I was really surprised with what he said. He said something to the effect of, oh, well, that's nice uh, if you feel like you have to do that. Um, which was really kind of like threw me off and was confusing. Like, what does he mean? Like, if I feel like I really must do that, like, it, it was it was weird. I wasn't expecting the, the lack of enthusiasm because all the other people that I told were like, oh, that's so amazing. You're like following your dreams to be a musician and it's going to be really great and exciting. Um, but from him, who is somebody who is more in the, the real music world than the other people I was talking to, it was a little unnerving. I assumed that what he was talking about was sort of the, the normal hesitations that you have about going into music or going into the arts or really getting a college degree in anything is the, the question of how you're going to make money and if it's going to be good for your career. It's really scary going to school and oftentimes having to put yourself into a lot of debt with no insurance that you're gonna be able to pay that off later and that you're actually gonna get like a job and benefit from it. Especially when you're going into music, when it's so hard to get a professional, especially playing job, um, that's gonna make any reasonable amount of money. The other thing that I assumed that he was probably talking about was the fact that you really have to practice a lot uh, and it's probably one of the first things that you think about if you're gonna be a music major is that you're gonna to have to spend lots of hours in a practice room. Um, but I wasn't really too scared of either of those. I figured there would be some way that I would figure out how to make money by doing music and playing music. And I figured, like, I liked practicing anyways, um, so I wasn't too concerned about spending the hours in the practice room. And I seriously, if that's like one of your biggest fears is that you're not going to be able to find a job, um, it's totally true that it's really hard to find a job like performing in an orchestra or performing in like a really fancy big ensemble like the New York Philharmonic, the Chicago Symphony, like yes, that's extremely difficult to get a job like that. But it's not extremely difficult to make money playing as a musician. And there's so many different things that you can do as a musician, including teaching lessons, doing other like small gigs. Uh, a lot of times around like Easter and Christmas, there's so many opportunities to play music at churches or just other things for those those holidays. So it's really possible to, to make a decent living from doing multiple gigs um, and teaching lessons and also doing stuff like I'm doing here with the uh, digital entrepreneurship. Um, small ensembles are an option. There's tons and tons of ways to make money as a musician. Um, so that's not so much of a concern. Of course, playing in those tops group top groups is very difficult, but making money in general is is not at all what my repairman was talking about, I don't think. And as far as the hours in the practice room that I was thinking about, that can definitely be an issue. Uh, I think the key to that is that you have to be a very process-oriented person. Um, when you're practicing, sure, you reach goals and like make progress, um, but you never really finish practicing. It's sort of just like always an ongoing thing. But if you're really process-oriented and you're interested in getting better a little bit each time, um, then the practicing isn't that overwhelming either. And it's really enjoyable, actually, to, to go into a practice room and get better a little bit every day. So those are probably the reasons that you were thinking that I was going to tell you why, is that it's hard to make money and you have to spend a lot of time practicing. But I think the real reasons that my repairman was talking about when he said, if I feel like I must major in music, then, then I guess I should do it, um, was the fact that music is so sub subjective um, and you never know really if you're doing it right or doing it well. And if you ask one person, they might think you sound great. And you ask another person, they might totally dislike how you sound. So it's totally, totally subjective. 
also with it being so subjective, there's sort of this like infinite skill ceiling. So what I mean by that is that you can always, always be getting better. So your practicing is never really done. You never reach a level of playing where you're like, okay, that's good enough. Um, that's fine. There will always be somebody better than you. And there will always be people looking and listening to your playing and thinking about how it could be just a little bit better. So you're never done. There's never like a goal that once you reach it, then you're, you're set and you're done. Even if you get a job playing with like the New York Philharmonic, um, they want you to play well with them in order to get tenure and to stay there. And even if you have tenure and you start playing badly because you stop practicing, or even if you don't keep improving, then there might be younger, better people who they want to replace you with. So it's really like this infinite ceiling that's always going up and you always have to practice to, to keep reaching up to it. And that's why I said you have to really be process oriented and enjoy the process because you're never going to reach like an end goal. And even if with one person they think they can't imagine how your playing could be better, it's so subjective that another person might think something totally different and have so many things that you need to improve. So it's completely subjective. You never know if you're, you're really doing it right. Um, and depending who you talk to, it might be right or wrong or different or there's so many possibilities and it's really like a never ending strive for perfection, which doesn't exist. Going along with the subjectivity of it all is the like constant comparison, which is really a struggle sometimes too, is you hear somebody else play and you're like, oh wow, they like do this and this and this so much better than me. Or sometimes you hear somebody else play and you're like, oh wow, like they sound good, but I, I really feel like I sound like just as good, um, if not better in some things. But again, with all the subjectivity, it depends who you're listening to. You might feel like you sound better than this other person, but somebody else might think they sound better than you. And it's also not consistent at all. It varies from day to day. Some days, this player might be like way better than me and some days I might be way better than them. Uh, and it's just this constant comparison that's like really like sort of messes with your mind thinking about all of these different aspects of things. Um, and it's also varies on like different things. This one person might be better at articulation than me, but I might be better at phrasing than them. Um, and again, it depends who you ask. So it's all subjective and you're always, even like no matter how hard you try, and I think it's really important to be able to be happy for other people and when people sound really great, just be glad that you got to hear them sounding so great. But at the end of the day and somewhere in your, your subconscious, you're always like, I'm gonna have to play better than them in order to get the jobs that I want. So it's it's really a struggle and and this constant like inner battle of, I wanna be happy for them, but I need to be better than them, but am I better than them? I don't know, it depends who you ask. And after that going on for, for a long time, it can really start to like wear you down a little bit. So it's, it's really a struggle uh, if you're gonna major in music performance. So that's something that you're really gonna have to deal with. And all of that sort of builds up into my last big point, which I think he was talking about when he said, if I must major in music, um, is that it's sort of like this yo-yoing of emotions. One day you have a great performance and you're like, wow, I really like felt like I knew what I was doing. It was so much fun to perform. I feel like I really sounded great. Um, man, I like really know how to play the clarinet. And then the next day you might be having a rehearsal where the conductor like says something to you and, and points out like a flaw that they're hearing. Um, and then you feel like so bad about yourself. And it's, it's this constant like highs of being like, wow, playing clarinet is like so amazing and I really know what I'm doing to these like total lows of like, man, I wish I knew how to play. Uh, everybody thinks I sound awful. Like I just can't play in tune. I can't play with good articulation. My sound sucks. My read sucks. Um, and it's just this constant like flip flopping that can be almost instantaneously. You play one phrase really well and then you squeak on the next phrase and it's just back and forth. Um, and it really takes a ton of mental fortitude and you have to really be prepared to to let things go uh, and try to live in the moment the best you can, which is really a struggle. It can be educational to figure out how to do that because if you don't figure out how to do that, it'll be extremely difficult. And that's why a ton of people end up dropping their music major uh, in the first year because you think that 
being a music major is super fun and awesome. It's true that you don't have to write very many papers, you don't have tons of homework, but you do have to practice a ton, so that sort of makes up for that time thing. But practicing so much fun compared to like doing calculus. Um, but it's these mental struggles and the subjectivity of it all that makes it really a struggle. When you're majoring in engineering, you either know how to do it or you don't know how to do it. You can figure out how to do it if you don't know how to do it. Uh, and then try again and know when you've gotten the right answer or the wrong answer. In music, you don't know if it's the right answer or not because it depends who you ask. And you don't know if you're even like heading in the right direction sometimes because something that you think might sound good might be like your teacher might say that that's not right at all. And it's sort of this like back and forth and back and forth. So now, after spending six years majoring in music performance, getting my bachelor's and my master's, I feel like I really understand what my repairman was saying when he said, if you feel like you must major in music, then go for it. Um, it's this incredible, like, almost whiplash of these super lows where you just feel like you don't know what you're doing at all, you're wasting your time in the practice room spending hundreds and hundreds of hours, um, you don't know if you're ever going to actually be able to like really do this for a living and be good enough to get one of those like orchestra jobs, to the other side of it, having beautiful performances and like sharing your music with the world and making people so happy. And those, those highs are so amazing and, and sometimes they're worth it. And I think that's really the question that you have to ask yourself is, will those moments of so much excitement, will you be able to live in those moments and let go of and move forward from the negative moments? Uh, and if you think that that's something that you can do, and if you're ready to have the mental fortitude to have this sort of whiplash, um, then do it if you feel like you must do it. If, if you need these moments of, of great performance and, and sharing of your music and, and these emotional connections and, and the human interactions that comes in music, if you feel like you need that, if that's something that you must have in your life, then you'll figure out how to make all the other stuff worth it. I have one quick caveat to all of this. Um, this is mostly talking about majoring in music performance where your ability to play the instrument is what your whole career is dependent upon. But music education is something totally different and I really do think that you should major in music education. And I'm not saying majoring in music education is better than majoring in music performance or vice versa at all. Um, I think they're both valuable in different ways. Um, music education is not easy by any means. It's probably one of the hardest majors because you have to do so much work for it. Um, but it's doesn't have so much of this pressure of performing and pressure of your, your career being dependent on your ability to play the instrument. Um, but it does have some more difficult stuff with you being responsible for the education of children, which can also be extremely stressful, and that's a whole different topic. Um, but even though I think you should only major in music performance, if you absolutely must, um, I do think that majoring in music education is a great idea because children and people need to be educated in music. It's totally important for, for the world to, to know about music because it's something that makes us human and it's a way to really learn the emotions and connection that's so important for society and for humanity. So I think music education is of the utmost importance and even though it is extremely difficult, I really encourage you to major in that. Um, but don't major in music performance unless you absolutely feel like you must. Um, even though there is lots of good and, and humanity that can be brought through performing music as well. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope this has helped you to think about the ramifications of majoring in music, and I hope this has brought up some points that maybe you haven't thought about so much about your, your musical career. Uh, if this has helped you, or if you have other thoughts about the difficulties or the pros and cons of majoring in music performance or education, go ahead and leave a comment down below. I'm really interested to hear what your thoughts are about majoring in music, uh, and I'll see you in another video.